Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's layout, we are doing two Traveler's Notebook layouts on Studio Calico Traveler's Notebook inserts. So remember, I have cut up all of my inserts into individual papers, and this is what I mean. Let me show you, let me show you. So this is like one of the inserts, and I have cut them into individual papers. I think I had discussed this on a previous video. That way it makes it a little bit easier for me to A, work on it when I'm here, and B, use definitely what I like, and then decide if I'm gonna use everything that is in an insert. Um, it's been going well so far, because I use, I once I'm done with these inserts, I put them into either A, my Life Crafted albums, or B, I put them into, because I bought those freckled fawn uh, TN notebooks, uh, insert pages, protectors, thingies, that um let me see if i have one readily available so you know what i mean yes yes hold on these are the freckled fawn little inserts so they're these plastic little booklets and right now in this one for instance i just have because i don't have it in a traveler's notebook the coronavirus timelines from persnickety prints from 2020 so um they come like this they are bounded and they have one two three four five ten layouts a piece and then you can just put the tn covers uh the notebook straight in there so these are the perfect size to fit in these as well so these can go also in here so i'm almost done with the tn uh the life crafted notebooks or albums and i do love those ones because they just actually had their um sale for kind of like second one-off ones like if they're not completely perfect and i bought three more of those albums because i had gotten two in the last sale and they have been fantastic. And if you are unfamiliar with what I'm referring to, these are the Life Crafted albums. So they're Traveler's Notebook size-esque. And I've been doing either outside the page protector layouts in here or inside page protector, which are these ones that I've been doing for Studio Calico. So it's been a fun way to document because I find the size an easy approach to scrapbooking. So we are doing two layouts. Um, I've sort of picked out everything I wanted to. So this one with this one, I like all the coral leaf from my dress. So I'm using this. These are photos from Valentina's dance recital this summer. And so this one with dad on white with then this blue one. And we'll do something. So I have these, these embellishments pulled because blue is a hard color I find. I don't have a lot of it in my stash so I have pulled those so we're making two so I think I'm going to use white for this one and this blue I just wanted to go with blue because this pulled blue after a while even though this was black and white but it looks kind of purpley in this light so their picture is from the same day but I'm going to talk to tell like two different stories just my point of view um being proud with her and then um something with daddy so let's get started so let's get started. Now, I was still like, I don't know what I'm going to do for a while. So I was definitely auditioning things before I hit record until I found a few things that I did like. So we are using a tag and vellum little pocket that is from the Sun Chaser collection by Heidi Swap as well. And then I have also picked out the Sun Chaser like puffy sticker that have the titles that I really liked as well. So then you also saw I had on the side that one little other like library tag that was from a delight kit from Ellie Edwards that I liked but I didn't love but I did put a puffy sticker on the vellum envelope of the tag itself too and I feel like this tag thing this tag like motif is so great to like hide your journal but have the envelope itself be decorative so I do have like an true envelope size die cut from Heidi Swap that was available in her shop uh, it still is actually if I think about it so I might pick up the one that makes it look like this for a like a vertical tag because I know that it was there in the shop as well because I have the one that's horizontal. So then I'm just auditioning some of the flowers there right there that you just saw me. It was also, those are from Paige Evans and I'm liking the blue against all the coral and pink. It definitely pops. And so I'm just looking at all the other kind of embellishments that I have, like the tiny little puffy stickers. I have the sticker book. 
and I just was trying to consider using anything from this collection because it worked well with this kind of like leopard print background that I had going on from Studio Calico. So I'm just thumbing through everything maybe to add another sentiment. In the end, I think I negate all of the options just because all the options in the sticker book are on clear paper and which I do love clear stickers but when you have a pattern paper background or anything with color they blend away too much I find so I definitely use just a clear sticker on like her white portion of her tutu dress to hold something that says living the dream and I put a puffy heart and that's as simple as I kept it because anything else on the left side would have been not seen very well so on the right side it worked the left side it didn't and I do love the stickers I have to keep this collection out of my desk so that I can utilize it more because it's beautiful so I'm doing my journaling handwritten um, which I almost have veered away from doing. I've been typing a lot of my journaling, so it's good to bust out the old pen and paper and write my journaling and my story for um, Valentina and her first recital. Next, we're gonna move on to doing uh, the layout with Dad. So it was the same day, like I said, and I just wanted to make this one um, special too because um, you know, we always, I, I always obviously do all the scrapbooking. I tell a lot of stories from my point of view um, and in regards to my family. So with this one, I definitely wanted to make sure I had a daddy specific layout because sometimes we forget about the daddies and he does work so hard all the time for us. He, you know, holds down our office, our clinic, um, so that I can just kind of carry on with her and do all of her extracurricular activities. So in the end, sometimes he doesn't get to see it on a regular basis. So for the recital, it was his first time really seeing like what she's been up to in dance class which was very um, special for him. So in the beginning, you saw me just use that close to my heart stamp set that had like a paint splatter uh, stamp that I used with Catherine Pooler ink in, I think it was called Champagne Toast. It's a very light pink. And I did it just on the white aspect of the letters I cut out. So I cut out the word fantastic to be stacked three layers deep so that it fit down a traveler's notebook layout. I sized it specifically for a layout. So when I did my, um, how do you say, like your uh, layout in silhouette software, I made sure that I made the column like four inches wide and that it could be as tall as, I think it's eight and a quarter. I think I did it just shy of that. And then I did the offset count, the offset cut in a navy pattern or, you know, cardstock. That way it definitely had the blue motif and popped from the page. You could also have switched it, done a white offset cut, and then do navy letters. Um, I just liked it better this way. It's just, you know, a personal choice that you can make if you're uh, recreating this layout. Then these butterfly stickers are from the Dollar Tree, believe it or not. I have two sheets of them. They are considered wall decals. So walk down that aisle of Dollar Tree and find these. I've used uh, different sets on different layouts coming out. So there's like a flowered set that I use on a memory planner page um, and then like a mandala set as well that I use on another memory planning page. Definitely check out Dollar Tree. So here I am just adding a few of the butterflies. I think I in the end add about three of them so that I always like that visual triangle in order to kind of pull in all of the blue. But I didn't like where they are at, were at right there because I think they disappeared too much to the background because it's blue on blue on blue and then the navy. <laughs> so I am definitely probably, uh, you know, going to figure out a place in the end where they pop a little bit more and keep them um, a little bit stand alone-ish in the end. I think that's how it works out. So what I also consider is when I was doing this, like probably around this stage, I'm like, where am I going to keep the, put the journaling? So I was like, can I cut the photo? Can I hide a tag? Can I have something as a flip out? And since I already had glued down the photo, making it a flip was already out of the question. So when you see me toward the end, once I'm done, I take a very fine tipped uh, gray Stabilo pen and I do the journaling in a very thin line as a border around the whole page. Uh, you'll see that come up shortly. So I definitely went along just in like a tiny script font of mine and you know wrote exactly what i said in the beginning of doing this like you know daddy works so hard um to make sure that you have these like activities he loves you with all his heart and your you know recital performance was his first viewing of you and he was so so proud of how much of the routine she remembered and actually out of her whole class she did really well you know because the teachers stand off to the side off the stage 
And so they have to remember, you know, their little dance number. And she did so well. It was such a cute thing. If you've ever been to a toddler dance recital, it's adorable. And then she finished off with a row of cartwheels, and it was precious. Okay, my crafty friends, that concludes this um, video. We have completed two layouts. So this one is the first one. Love the way it turned out using the Heidi Swap Chaser collection and my journaling on the inside tag here. I probably could add an embellishment here, but I think it would interfere with the vellum. Um, so that one was real sweet. And from the same day, we have this one with Daddy. I've done all that Cricut cut. And then my journaling, if you saw, is all around the edge, just talking about how much he loves her and so proud of her. And then these stickers are from the Dollar Tree go to the Dollar Tree. So fantastic. Blue is sometimes hard in my collection, but this works out beautifully. Beautifully. All right, my scrappy friends, please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Please give this video a thumbs up. And until next time, keep it crafty. Bye.